Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another video. So, this is Ghost Freak and uh, I'm back. So I just wanted to do like a real update on what I've been doing. I've been off from streaming, from uploading, from writing, I've been off from a whole lot of things. And simply the reason is because I was very busy. I was very busy, I was working overtime, trying to get as much, you know, trying to get that grind going. Um, but well, there's a few complications also taking care of my, you know, my fiance. She's been kind of sick. Um, but also because a lot of uh, motivation. Uh, I was so busy, I just didn't find time, especially with uh, working morning shifts now instead of afternoon. Uh, there was quite a few changes. And so, yeah. <clears throat> and po possibly in the future, still going to be a little bit busy trying to get my life together and all that. But, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I just wanted to, like... Uh, do a real quick update what I've been doing and honestly thing that I most important thing that I've been doing besides all of my adult stuff in real life is that I me myself I got into airsoft. Uh this is not my first time. Uh already been playing airsoft before back when I was in Puerto Rico. And so but I've been away for like a year, uh year and four months, something like that. And so yeah, but I just got back into it. So I just uh, decided to just invest the money on it. And since, especially since I've been saving for this uh, reason to get back into airsoft. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, without further ado, I will show you real quick what I have for gear wise and all that kind of stuff. So to start, which is honestly the most important stuff of all of it, is my uh, airsoft electric gun or AG for that matter. This baby right here, an M16A4 with a vertical grip for Knight's armament. And uh, yeah, as you might notice, it still has the flash hider, whatever. And so yeah, it's full metal, everything. It's full metal. The only plastic parts are the stock, pistol grip, and possibly the flash hider for se. Yeah, that's about it for it comes to uh, plastic parts. Um, so yeah. So yeah. Uh, just in case it's not lo it's not loaded, it's an empty Mac, and uh, it doesn't have a battery inside, so you cannot fire anything at all. So yeah, it's a M16 A4 from um, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, double Bell. That's <laughs> I was struggling because uh, before they were Double Bell, they were called D Boys, so they kind of referred the company and rename it into Double Bell. So that's why I have a little bit of struggle remembering the exact name that I have it right now. So it's an N16A4 from uh, Double Bell, full metal, uh, 350 FPS to 360, something like that. Uh, the value price for it, it's $150. Uh, I got it from Airsoft Mega Store. So, yeah, so far I only have it for like about a month, like a month or something. So, probably gonna do an updated, uh, I'm gonna do a full review of this gun and what are my impressions about it, what are the pros and cons on it. So, Moving on to the next thing, the gear set that I have. Uh, I decided to want to go again with a very classic um, gear set that I really liked before. Uh, even though I did use most of the, uh, a lot of the motor stuff that I have to offer, I still was feeling inclined to go with my Alice gear setup. Uh, so far I have the, the suspenders for it with the connected to it. I have the saw pouch here on the right side where I can keep my stuff like notepads, um, any, any kind of other stuff that I may use. So yeah, for any kind of use, like general purpose um, pouch pretty much. And then moving on, I got my uh, thought pack pretty much. I will use it as a dump pouch, uh, also for dumping any other stuff that I may find on during the game or whatnot. Uh, it's supported by the the suspenders and also it has the added clips in it so it gets it pretty firm uh, it does ride up a little bit higher than i would have wanted but we're going with it and then i also have my canteen over here for water um uh, it has helped me a lot for de dehydrating so and then lastly which i did like this a little bit over let me there we go then put this in here Now notice I have my um, M4 uh, pouch or small arms and munitions pouch, pretty much. And also, lastly, I got my first aid 
bandage, kind of like compass pouch, but I'll use it for like um, some other stuff. Maybe for a handkerchief or maybe like a dead rag, like some a red rag where I can take it out, like signal that I'm dead in the game. Um, so yeah, all that is uh, handled by a pistol belt. That's right here. And let me get this out of the way. And then, lastly, how I carry all of that stuff, all of my other gear, in this rucksack right here. This is an LC1 um, Alice medium size pack, pretty much. Um, so yeah, here's what I have all of my airsoft gear, pretty much. I will show you real quick. Not show you, but like, uh, show you where it is. Here's where I have my BBs, my ammunition for all kinds of stuff. Also, here's where I'm going to have any other ammo. Probably what I'm going to do is going to get another uh, small munitions pouch. And I'm going to attach it to the right, no, to the right side here to have more ammo here carry and use this pouch for something else for other purposes. And then here's where I have my my goggles alongside my battery which I still think that I should not have my batteries there so um, I'm gonna see what I can do about that change and then inside of here which is here attached let me see there we go and here one more time All right. and then which I forgot which I added today is a two quarter canteen that goes in here just for more water like I can carry it with me which is secure with a general purpose um, strap that is strapped on the sides around the, the attic so you can keep it very firm and stable uh, but yeah for more water for not only for me but also for others um, I'm gonna see what I can do about that also because probably what I do also is carry bottles of water here inside for more for, you can never have enough water for that matter so open it here and then we have let's see and this then I have my knee pads I got my mask over here my gloves also I put in here my uniform what I use depending on what I use so I use either the tree color desert uniform or the woodland BDUs uh, kind of like um, BDUs um, uniform I don't use like the multicam or the modern uh, camos just because it doesn't go well with this uh, kind of setup and besides I wanted to be a, do a build that's more like 80s or 70s kind of style for that matter except the rifle <laughs> because the rifle is kind of like early 2000s so it doesn't really apply but even then I, did, I really wanted to get in 16A4 so let's close this up and uh, there we go close this up Honestly, I will do a review of every uh, <clears throat> on the I will do a review separately for the Alice uh, rucksack or the backpack for that matter, and also for the gear set that I have, which is the uh, suspenders or the Alice gear. Um, so I'll do the review on that also uh, to give my personal impressions on, on it. Of course, I also want to do a little bit more research, see what I also what I can do with this kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for like the update of what I've been doing. Uh, I've been going to play in airsoft in the in the central Texas area. Um, I've been going normally to two fields every weekend, which is only on Saturday and Sundays. But that's when I have time because I usually work in the morning. So I get out like around 1 p.m. central time. So it does only give me room for like maybe four hours of gameplay, maybe five. It, it depends. It, it depends. But yeah, I'm just glad I was able to get back into Airsoft and uh, not only that, I also got my fiance to play in it and she also has her own gear set up, her own AG, which is a cold licensed Cybergun M4A1 shooting 350 FPS or feet per second. So uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just really content with what I'm doing so far, but don't get me wrong, I'm still going to go back into doing streamings on Twitch, the playthroughs on YouTube, uh, also writing on Webpad, posting um uh, memes on Instagram also where I'm gonna be doing personal updates of what I do which is I'm gonna be uploading stories or photos or that, that kind of stuff to keep myself more active you know what I mean I've been pretty much uh, not doing anything for a while so I wanted to get back into it honestly uh, but yeah that's pretty much it, what I wanted to do real quick <sighs> so yeah so yeah I just wanted to do a real quick update so I just show you all what I what I've been doing um, don't get me wrong I'm not quitting for anything I just wanted to um i just wanted to take care of some priorities in my life first and you know put it put a little bit on uh what's it called 
<laughs> this is where it comes to play where uh, English is my secondary language. Um, pretty much uh, putting a stop to the rest of the stuff I was doing, prioritizing my um, you know adult life, pretty much stuff that I had to take care of. So yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, yo, I really, I really appreciate the support and the, the the views and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I appreciate the patience for waiting for me to get back into you know streaming and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, you know, like I always say, you guys are awesome for do for supporting me however you can. Even for the small amount of views or followers, I'm still gonna be doing this because I really do enjoy it. So, um, so yeah, why not do something that you enjoy, anyways? So yeah, uh, again, yo, I appreciate you. I'll probably see you in the next video. Uh, I will try to see if I can upload as much as possible. I will try to see if I can set up some kind of schedule since our, now it's firm that I work in the mornings. It gives me more time for me to stream and do whatever I gotta do in the afternoons, without sacrificing sleep, of course. You know what I mean? So yeah, um, so yeah. I appreciate y'all, and again, just like the video, comment your thoughts about it, any questions that you have. Um, and so yeah, I'll see y'all on the next one, and as always, stay safe and stay awesome. This is Ghost Week, signing out.